So proud of myself, still writing's on the wall, but let's get it. Let's get it. What's good, y'all? I got two exciting news. Number one, the kiddos are done school. Today's the last day, so we're having a pool day. All right, the second thing is I'm launching a new product, y'all, under the Everyday Hustle. So, Samia, can you go get it? Yeah, one job, one job to hold the product, okay? Everyday Hustle sunscreen stick. I did say it's for men, but the lady, skin is skin, all right? And it smells, what does it smell like? Ginger. Ginger, y'all. All you gotta do is just glide it easily over your skin. You don't have to rub it in, right? You don't have to rub it in, nothing. On your face, okay? On your face. No white casts, so you don't have to look like a ghost, which is a, lot, a problem for, you know, melanated individuals. So I'm excited about this. This is a product for us by us, okay? Available by the time you see this video on Amazon, but definitely on my website. You can get it through Instagram shop. Everyday Hustle Sunscreen Stick, SPF 50, okay? I've been working hard on this one. I'm excited to launch this. Let's have a fun day. It's the last day of school. You guys did great. Very enthusiastic every morning, ready to go to school. Now it's time to have fun. We got some pizza. We enjoying ourselves. Shout out to every, everyone who's finished school today. Let's get it, enjoy the summer. About to put it to test. Tim, you're going to Africa. You're going places, but you need some sunscreen. Let's do it, man. It's my new sunscreen. Test it out. You got a lot of muscles, so good luck putting it, put, <laughs> reaching to the back. You're going to need your wife to help you with that one. Oh, now smell it. What do you what, think of? That's a great smell. What does it smell like? It's like a, it's like a lemony type smell. Ginger. Ginger. It's oh, ginger. Man, it's great, it's still smell great. Something that was very inviting. I appreciate that, man. I like this, man. It smells great. Good. Really good More importantly, I like the fact that I ain't got to worry about spraying it on. Yeah, yeah. Getting in your eyes and all the taste. It's awesome, man. I like this. I think this is going to be great, you know, while we're away now. All right, y'all. That was a whole lot of fun in the sun. Um, about to take the kiddos to an event. I'm popping up by my people who are launching a biking um, service on the Beltline here in Atlanta where you can essentially rent a bike and ride it across the belt line. Um, but before I head out, I wanted to check in with one of my boys. His name is Johnny. You might have seen him in my videos. I think you have. Nonetheless, um, it's been a while. He lives in Toronto. About to check in with him. So yeah, about to call him. All right, got Lingo, AKA Johnny, AKA Justin Bieber here. Who's a musician now? Because I used to, I used to always call you Justin Bieber. Now look, you're a musician now, and it's so crazy. One of my favorite songs or songs that are out right now is your song. I'm so proud of myself. Love that tune. Thank you, man. Bro, that track is so good, and I love the fact that you're dropping like different remixes of it. You got the the day party one that went out. Good for you, bro. Day party. My son loves this song. Every time we're driving in the Sprinter, I gotta play it. And it's one of those songs you just never get tired of. So, yo, good for you, bro. All, the, all those times I call you Justin Bieber manifested into something. <laughs> it paid off, it paid off. <laughs> That's what's up. What's new? What's brewing? Got a new single gonna come in the summer. And, you know, shout out to Eric Bellinger. He's helping me out and we're releasing music with him. So, you know what's crazy? I actually just thought of right now. The day that I met Eric Bellinger, you were actually there. Oh yeah, in the Toronto, studio, in the yeah. Studio. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 15 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, I was just about to call you Justin. Johnny was actually here during um, Thanksgiving. 
We went to Orlando together. We shot so much content. Well, a lot of everyday hustle content, but I never released any of that content. So I'm just, this is my third video of the year. I'm just getting back into the groove of dropping long form content. But yeah, man, I'm about to take these kiddos to the Beltline. My boy is opening it up. Him and his girl and his family are opening up um, a rental bike service and you can just ride it along the, along the Beltline, which is okay. pretty awesome. So I'm about to go support them. It's all about supporting y'all, you know? I'm gonna put all of Johnny's info in the description below. His track is really good, y'all. Like, I'm not just saying that because he's my friend. Oh. I'm really saying it like we love this song and I think you will too. So yeah. Um, it's a good message too. You know? Yeah, it's, it's a positive track yeah. and it could be a soundtrack of your life and it's very motivational. Oh yeah, I want to ask you before I go. Yeah, yeah. Are you proud of yourself and why? This is the question I'm gonna be starting to ask everyone. Am I proud of myself? I am, I'm proud of myself because I show up every day no matter how I'm physically feeling. Even, even if I'm feeling mentally like drained, like there's yep. just something even more internal within me that there's a spark within me that doesn't, that just like um, neutralizes everything that I feel and I just go, you know, I, I endure. And I think uh, that is definitely one of my superpowers, the ability to just endure and cope. So yeah, I'm proud of myself for just showing up every day uh, for those who matter, no matter how I'm feeling and um, giving my best. And even sometimes you can't give your best, but I, I just giving, you know, just giving what I got at that time. Giving 50% is better than 0%. Exactly. Giving even, yeah, exactly. All right, brother. Good chatting yeah. with you. Thanks for catching up, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. You got it. All right, y'all, let's head, head over to the belt line. Streaming in, I get the music in, I get the vlog, man. You know what I'm saying? But my family. How's Father Hunt treating you? Dude, changed my life, changed my perspective, changed my view of everything, changed my maturity. It literally, like, I thought like I was growing up, so I'm having my son. Back against the wall, you got you to show up every day. Every day. Not sometimes, no, every day. Every day, you know? And, uh, every day else. Like, uh, like Kendrick Lamar said, man. Don't know about that, you know what I'm saying, man. We really out here, man, like doing this fatherhood stuff, man. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a journey, man. I'm, I'm a first time parent, so, you know. So you and Asha are doing great. Y'all doing fantastic. I appreciate that because we're literally trying, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. It's Being black out here and trying to make shit happen is different, man. We got we got the family establishment right now, man. Come on, now. Come on, now, man. So I've never rode an e-bike before. What's the difference between an e-bike and a regular bike? I actually got offered numerous times. Really? You know, you know how they hit your mm -hmm. bike too. Right. But I was like, nah, I want to actually pedal. Can you actually still pedal? <laughs> Literally, this is like biking on steroids. Literally, like you get on a bike, you can ride it regular. Or you can literally just hit the throttle and the next thing you know you're going 15 miles an hour on some on something light. Yeah. But they push up to like 30 miles an hour. Like my chain? Hey dude, my chain hang low too. My chain hang low. Oh, my, my chain hang low. be hanging on me. Like my, my son, he's at the age now where like anytime I'm, I'm feeding him, he'll get his food and throw the food. He'll be like, oh, look right here. I mean, it's exactly. happening right now. You see, you see all this food on the floor? You see that? You see that? Happy Jones. Hey, what's up to Mr. Adam, man? Say what's up to Mr. Adam, man. Turn around and get time for that. Say hello, man. Yeah. So, how was fatherhood? How was your first, you know, year or two of fatherhood? Bro, I've been in the game for what, almost 10 years now, man. So I can't really recall, but all I know is I don't want no more kids. Let me, no, let, me say, let me say this. Let me say this. Can you blame me? I mean, three is a lot. Three, three is. Three is. Three is. Three. One is a, one is one. You like two? I'm probably about like three. Like, what you doing? What you doing? Three is a lot. How, how old is your youngest? Right here. Four years old. Oh, that's what you know. Turning five soon. 
So let me ask you this right here. What was your so, hardest age? The hardest age so far? She's the most challenging one. Really? I'm gonna get you on this bike, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. I'm gonna get you on this bike. Which one? Which one? That's fun. But remember when the first time I like sat down and talked with Stop. you at Clarence's birthday, mm -hmm. and you asked me, okay. me for okay. my best tip the right now, you guys, yeah. and I said, when that baby comes, there will be a, it'll be the, the most challenging time yeah. because there's a child in the middle, mm -hmm. and there's just gonna be oh, you know resistance oh. from both ends. You guys are trying to make things happen. It's gonna be sticky, bro. But that's where the magic can happen because. That's the that's the first like big challenge for you guys. A lot of families break up when a child gets in the right, mix. Right. So and, the fact that you guys are still pushing through, that's great, but brace those challenges and be mindful of that. I'm trying to do that, man. You know, yeah, like absolutely. I said, she get she get she get tough, you know, and then yeah. as a man, like I feel like us young men I'm twenty nine, I consider myself young. I don't know what what people whatever boom. As a young man, bro, we need OGs, we need people to talk to, we need people that we can seek advice from, seek guidance from, man. That's where you get your wisdom, you know what I'm saying? So words like that and things that like like things like you told me. All that I gotta program all that stuff in me, bro, to really like activate it. You telling somebody advice and they don't listen, it ain't no it ain't no point. You know what I'm saying? So everything that some OGs be talking listen to your OGs is basically what I'm trying to say, man, because life is real. Life, life in um, but yeah man as long as you have that intention of trying to do better because a lot of the frustration is going to come from you as a man wanting to do better but there might life might be just happening to you and you can't break through yet but you have to be patient with yourself you have to show action to her that you try and she's going to believe and she's going to see the vision but like if you're moving kind of slow, you know what I mean? You're, be, you're, you're not maturing enough. Let me ask you this right here. Go for it. And you know, we out here really giving game. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you, do you feel like you got slowed down when you when you had your kid, your first kid? No. And when it comes to your scheduling and making time for the things that you gotta do? No, when your back's against the wall, you know, there's only two things you're gonna do. You're going to show, you're gonna knuckle up, or you're gonna run. And um, you know, everything turned up for me. I wanted to provide, I wanted to I wanted to show up, so it turned up for me. I, that's just my experience. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like me, man, personally, my first year, I, it was a challenge for me because it's like, I was con everything, every day, content, 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 slamming, slamming, studio, studio. And I never- You neglected the family, would you I, say? I feel, I, feel, I feel like I did. And she probably took, like she, she vibed that, like she felt that. So it's hard, man. It's I a balance a, game. I took a little, I took a little mental break just to, you know, cater to what mattered to me. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm trying to figure out. I'm at a stage in, in my journey where like balance is like, I'm trying to learn to balance everything the best way I can. Whatever you do, make sure there's a game plan for it that you want something to come to come out of it, something fruitful. And let her know, like you're not doing this for shits and giggles. A lot of times we do things for shits and giggles because it makes us feel good, but it's not funneling to nothing. Right? As long as it's funneling to something, then that's cool. If not, then you gotta check that. This dude should start a podcast, bro. Do you already have one? I do. Oh shit! I gotta really tap in. Podcast. I gotta, I gotta tap in. Oh. You think about that bike, man? How's how that been cruising, man? I feel like it's cheating, though. Like I'm, it is. I'm just, I've been a cycler mm. for like four years mm. now. When I, when I say cycle, I mean like I cycle two, three times so a week. So you, you was, you was on the side of the road like this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would have hunked that show ass, but I would have hunked that I'm that, that I'm that guy there. And then I come here, and then this is the cheat code. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. You literally don't even have to pedal at all. You just... Appreciate you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Catch you all on the next video. Peace, y'all. Ain't no way I'll ever stop climbing. Life is
is up there But my situation don't define me Cause I've been down bad 